Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Up on Camera, where tonight we're watching episode 7 of Ahsoka. Last episode, we saw the return of Grand Admiral Thrawn with a presumably zombie stormtrooper army, and more importantly for me at least, the return of Ezra Bridger. It's honestly still hard to believe because, you know, you've been living expecting something not to happen for so long to have it actually happen is insane. Personally, I'm just worried about how this episode is going to go. Are the Purgles going to be killed en masse as they show up at Peridia? Or what? How will Ezra react when Sabine finally gets around to telling him, you know, the truth? I don't know. I just can't wait to find out. If you enjoyed this episode, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more of my reactions, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you don't want to do either, then let's just get in the episode. Oh, we're on Coruscant then. We simply cannot allow okay, her trial. Public security. Are we to believe anyone? Shut well, up, Senator Yajiono. Once again, your son is so much better. Objection. If. Oh my god, I want to see his face when Thrawn shows up. The possibility Idiot. of what might happen or your unwillingness to see it. I'll tell you what Your I entire see. planet will get destroyed because of your stupidity. Uses her authority for personal gain. I see 3PO. Identification. <laughs> How you doing, Goldie? I am C3PO. I'm here on behalf of Senator Leia Organa. Oh, Leia, I completely missed her name drop the first time around. By all means. Oh, they have 3PO show up because they're not going to do a uh, CGI Leia. I object in the strongest terms. That doesn't matter. <laughs> she just accepted it. Ah, oh, good job, Leia. <laughs> Faking the evidence. Well, that seems to settle the matter. Unless oh, just imagine if Carrie Fisher was alive, though. Leia would have walked in. We would have seen CGI Leia. No, Madam Chancellor. I'm okay with this. Have we seen 3PO in any Disney. of these shows so far? No, this is the first time he showed up in the shows, right? How real is the threat of Thrawn's return? He's coming. He's coming next episode. You might as well consider we him already here. Worst. Dreams and madness. Oh yeah, they said that two episodes ago. So are we going to see some mind-bending stuff this episode? Hello, Purgil. Please don't get killed. <gasps> Anakin hologram! We're not done with him yet. <laughs> People wondered if you were going to see him again. It's just a hologram, this but that's fine. Face more than just yeah, that's the line from the trailer. General Green, or at least more than I do. <laughs> at least more than I do. God, that is so etiquette. I won't always be there and look out for uh, That also connects to Rebels, too, I'm because I think they had a, a holocron of Anakin's training myself. in uh, Rebels as well. I've made some adjustments to the classic Form 4 techniques that I think you'll find work well against droids and other ranged attackers. Again, just the absolute joy of, of seeing him in that armor is this insane. Is one. Also, I didn't mention that did I either, but I seeing an actual person in those clothing makes you realize exactly That's how big mess. Anakin's head was in the first season. I think the odds are pretty good. No, no, in fact, they're terrible, astronomically <laughs> terrible. Well, you should have said something. She did I say did, something. But you never <laughs> yeah, you can see she's a little bit more happy now. The worst part is, I... Oh, they're totally gonna get shot at. This is the perfect scene to ruin with massive fire. I hope they're being shot at. Aw, oh, poor whales. Well, they seem to be handling it well. What the frick? Holy shit! You've mined the entire planet! Okay, not the entire planet, but just the... Mm -hmm. Oh, they're out! Haha, no, no death for them. Which, you know, puts to rest all those people who thought it was a suicide mission and 
The whales only come here to die? Oof. Slick flying, please. Do not crash that thing. Again, just a ring of bones. That is, that immediately ranks Peridia as one of the top Star Wars planets in terms of just concept. And you are about to fly through the ring of bone. Cool. I mean, they're just bones, right? Very, very large bones. Holy shite. The master was General Anakin Skywalker. Uh huh, yes. important. And if she's anything like her master, she'll be unpredictable and quiet. Ah, I like dangerous. it. More Clone Wars references. Anakin as a general was fierce. So that no matter which. Once again, these bones just put into sa scale the size of the Purgle in a way that the animation never really could. Oh, they move like that. I figured they were little RVs, but I hoped for a second that they were going to roll into like little balls or something. Um, did you get to Thrawn yet? I was beginning to think we'd never find and did you mention your family dying on Mandalorian? Fun. There's a clip in... Oh, you're from... Where... I have to pause. Worse. There's a clip from a couple episodes ago where Balin says your family died on Mandalore because your master didn't trust you. And that is the shortest term Mandela effect I've ever seen. Because for the life of me, I can't remember that quote. I can't remember seeing it in the original episode. I can't remember seeing it while editing. I can't remember while see it, seeing it while watching people's reactions. I don't know. And I remember, I thought I remember having conversations about how it implied her family's dead. But suddenly there's just a scene where they say her family's dead. Which is just... It's very confusing. Getting home is kind of important. You kind of. Mention it. Explain the important details. Ahsoka took me on as her apprentice. She what? Why? I mean, congratulations. <laughs> what? what? Really? Go on. Is your plan to just not say anything? Wait for Thrawn to leave and say, whoops, guess he's gone. Uh, guess we're stuck here, actually. Sorry, Ezra. We are at your service, my lord. My lord? How did he get such status? Yes. Now you know how that feels, Ezra. Someone's having a force vision without you. Then take your place in the coming empire. So what is your plan, fool? You won't help? We'll guarantee defeat. I think that these two will be defeated by the end of next episode. While Thrawn will make his escape. <laughs> Slingshot. Now that's, that's Ezra. Peaceful people. Again, Sabine, this would be a really helpful time for you to have brought your jet back. What are you gonna do, Balin? What is your plan? Lightsaber? Oh yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Malachi says you were lightsaber. <laughs> we better get ready. Not the context. They went all in on the context of the show. Come on, Ezra! I want to see what you've learned this past, uh, what is it, decade? Almost? Won't need to land. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Bring it back. Oh, not point. this again. Of course, just remember what happened last time. You got the timing wrong? And didn't I feel terrible? No! Terrible. <laughs> 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 That's cool. Oof. A little bit rough. Yes, it's okay. Use both your lightsabers this time. You keep it. What? I don't need it. Besides, you've been training. <laughs> very funny. No, I'm serious. Take it. Take, keep the lightsaber. It's, you. it's yours now. At least take a blaster. I don't think he needs it anymore. No. The force is my ally. That's all I need. <laughs> His smile. Oh. I'm gonna need more oh. <laughs> Oh 
your part. Uh, you know why this is Disney-ish. Looks like he's got some force foo. Behind you! Ooh, got a little bit of his hair with that! Stop cutting away from Ezra. Kid hasn't had a good fight scene in years. <laughs> yes! I knew he'd do that. That Ezra! I don't have to. <laughs> Now that worked. All right, Ezra. Time to beat some buckheads. Thank you. <laughs> hey, did you just steal the force food? That was Ezra's whole thing, and you just came in and did the same thing. Come on, a sucker. <laughs> They're not exploding, so I don't know if they're zombies like Maricos. I see only our enemies reunited. Let me show you what I see. I love her reaction here and her desperation. With our enemy distracted, the cargo transfer is now all Because she spent, Which what, the last years of her life trying to arrange for this to happen. And now she's here, and he seems crazy to her. Come on, Shin, just chill out. Or just run away, that's fine. Look nice for you, Ian, but uh, reunite with Ez Ezra, please. You haven't seen him since the World Between Worlds. I miss this reunion? <laughs> that's the one I've been waiting for. I think I might be going home after all. Uh, okay. But can you please end this sh I know you probably the show's probably gonna end badly with like Thrawn escaping, but can we see Ezra reunite with the rest of the ghosts? Hera at least? The CMC Jason? You were not gonna end the episode right here, are you? Oh come on. Yeah, never mind what I just said. There is no way that's happening next episode. And that was part seven. Dreams and uh was it Night Nurse? I think so. If you didn't realize before that Thrawn would get away, and that's probably how this season would end, this episode should make that vehemently clear. We spent a lot of time with Ahsoka just trying to get down to the planet, and, you know, Ezra and Sabine dealing with that whole, like, convoy, and, you know, them being attacked. That took a lot of the episode. There's still the, uh, which means there's next episode is just about probably a last desperate attempt to, to stop Thrawn, but they'll fail. Whether they'll also make it back to the to the main galaxy by the end of next episode is is iffy, because here's the thing: the Star Whales they didn't die, which is a good thing, but they also left. So I don't know. Maybe they can just you know. Pull the tra the same trick from Rebels finale and call them back again. They do have Ezra now. The very beginning of the episode was nice. Oh, that frustration of the New Republic. Senator Giono is just... I love how they chose a, ki a character we've kind of... They've already introduced to be this signal of how the New Republic is just this... It's so stupid. They want to enjoy their peace, but with the, like trying to ignore that threats will be out there. And C-3PO was nice. It was nice and nice hearing about Leia, but it definitely confirms my idea that unlike CGI Luke, which only exists because Mark Hamill is still alive, with Carrie Fisher being gone, they are not going to make another CGI clone of her. So we got C-3PO in her stead, which was nice. They're also not going to recast her or Luke, no matter how much people want to say, hey, look, choose Sebastian Stan or whatever. Because they can't forget Solo. <laughs> they tried recasting for Solo and people hated it. And here we are. Nice to see Ezra fight again. Some kind of like force kung fu. But I kind of wish they had let him do a bit more. And I am pretty sure that that force kung fu would have been so much cooler in animation. But I really need to stop 
com- judging the fight scenes by what the animation was able to do. Because animation didn't have physics. Real world does. It's hard to believe there's really only one episode left. But it's coming to an end, and I hope you'll watch my reaction to the finale. Even if I post it late. Over here is the next reaction whenever that comes out. Over here is a playlist of my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.